fatality. Alright, what is going on YouTube? It is one day before the 4th of July, and I know most of you guys aren't Americans, but for the people that are Americans, just like me, uh, happy early 4th of July, everyone. <laughs> uh, maybe have another video up tomorrow, but today I'll be doing a, a brief video. One, because I screwed up last week, I didn't upload the correct video, and I did like yesterday, which I apologize for. And another one, because I haven't been uploading a video, because I said I was going to do another one, but then I got lazy, I was like, screw it, I am just going to hold off. So. I'll be doing a brief video today talking about Tank Valkyrie. So, uh, I think over the course of like last week when I was doing my uh, Odin runs, I was running with a lot of Valkyries and I saw most Valkyries just freaking flop over. Like they're absolutely squishy. They're not tanky whatsoever, they're absolutely squishy. So, this video just discusses tanky Valkyries and the reason why tanky Valkyries are the best way to approach building a Valkyrie and the reason for why this is the best Valkyrie of all times and why I recommend it to every support player out there. So, reasons for why Valkyries should go tanky because one, if you're dead, you can't heal. Two, if you're dead, you can't give magic immunity for your team. Three, if you're dead and a tank dies, then who's gonna resurrect the tank or who's gonna resurrect you? I mean, yeah, the tank resurrects everyone, but in case of emergencies, if a tank dies, and maybe you might live, who knows? Then who's gonna res the tank? So. There's a lot of reasons for why Tanky Valkyrie is the way to go. Um, personally, um, also there's another one where uh, not all fights need Guardians, so you need to play a Tanky Valkyrie to uh, fix that. So, I'll be doing, discussing uh, Tanky Valkyries in general. So, um, yesterday, while I'm farming my Desperado accessories on my other account for like the past six days or so, I went ahead and upgraded a lot of my gear for my Valkyries. So, um, as of right now, I'm sitting roughly around 31,000 HP. A little over 15,000 light, um, 29,000 uh, physical defense, 21,000 magic defense. So I'm in a really good spot right now, and a little bit over 2,800 uh, agility, which is I think right now is in a really really good spot. I got a lot, I got a good mixture of balanced stats and it's a very very good survivability. So, how do you go, you go about getting these stats? Well, it comes from a lot of ways. Most of it comes from supports and whatnot. Uh, first, for your loadout, make sure you have your proper. Um, Valkyrie setup. So whatever your content you're, uh, you're using, like let's say look, we're doing like wind super raid or something, you you you'll slap on the fire wings. Uh, if you have like some other content, you'll slap on starburst. I don't have starburst, but you get the idea. If it's a fight that requires you to spam a lot of resurrection, you slap on a living guardian. So like use one of these right here. Or if it's like just something where you need to stack a lot, just get a lot of like Athena's or Jade's, and that's perfectly fine as well. Alright, so, uh, once you have that loadout uh, set up, you want to go ahead and fix your armor and accessories. So most of, the, most of it, if you guys have been watching me for a while now, you guys know that Divine Armor and Gloves are the way to go for the most part. And yes, that's still true to today. And this build is for like, if I want to go do like dark content, I'll wear this, this and it's perfectly fine. Uh, there's some content where there's going to be null element, meaning uh, element like defenses and whatnot aren't really, doesn't matter too much. And in those cases, I call them null Ellie content, so you can just like wear whatever you want. The best thing to stack at that point would be HP. So in my case, I'm going to use this, my Super Raid Melee, to get more HP. So I was at 31k before, it will put me at 38k as of right now. This gives like 7000 HP, so uh, that's the best thing for HP for here. And if you still want to use like whatever gloves, uh, my best glove recommendation would be Guardian gloves. So like if I want to use, if I want to tank a bit without no Ellie, I'll slap on these gloves and it'll give me like another 200 HP or so. It's not the best optimization, but you get the idea. Um, if you improve like this second stat right here, you get a little bit more defense as well. So it's not a bad choice for Guardian gloves. And you'll have a similar loadout like this. And it's like the best, best tank use. Also like Guardian hat as well. If I'm not using Guardian hats, so you get the idea. So you go ahead, that will be like your best loadout for um, Null Ellie. And if you want to do just regular Divine and divi uh, Divine Armor and Divine Gloves, just wear a proper one according to the content, you'll be perfectly fine. As for accessories, this is the tricky part. Uh, for most Valkyries, your pure val uh, in Valkyrie Lottos, nothing is tanky in there. I think the tankiest thing you get out of it is like Jade, Osiris Jade or Graham. So you're probably not going to be tanky whatsoever if you, stick, if you stick strictly with Valkyrie. 
That's why if you want, if you want to go with the Tanky Valkyrie uh, branch, you're going to have to split off in different Lottos. Uh, the two best methods are Leafs and uh, Guardians. So if you want to do a double support, which is very, very nice to have, um, you'll go into Guardian Lottos and you'll stuff a lot of like Lance and Shields. Uh, those are really safe bets. Guardian um, Gems Swords are really good as well. I think Sigmunds are all right as well. I don't personally use Sigmunds. I haven't looked at like the stats yet, but aside from that, it looks alright to me. Um, Osiris Spears are really good as well. I use Osiris Hammers because they're just there and I just might as well just use them. But for the most part, Lance and Shields are really good. They give a lot of HP, decent um, elements, a lot of P defense and magic defense. These are really, really good. Um, and so forth. So I have like a lot of Osiris Spears here. A couple lances like tremblings and full metals. Those are really nice to have. One gem sword because I'm not lucky, and that's basically it. And I have a lot of these royal swords that I'm gonna trade in later. But these aren't just terrible stats. They have a lot of physical defense, okay HP. I'm gonna replace this, replace this later. But for the time being, these are perfectly fine for having them in supports. Um, if you want to go with the leaf which I recommend you go for the DPS route. Uh, Leaf is also a good thing for Valkyries to branch into because one, you can have some damage for yourself. Most Valkyries have a hard, hard time doing damage, even if you do have a Luminous Scepter. So Leaf's a good way to go into damage if you want to split into that. Um, they share both Scepters, so if you have Scepters on Valkyries, you can go ahead and use them on your Leaf, which is really, really nice to have. Also, if uh, you go into Leaf, they also have 19 support war blades, like uh, DJ Glaives and uh, Ghost Blades, which gives a lot of HP and a lot of physical defense. Not a lot of element, but uh, it's perfectly fine because these things, you want HP and secondary if you want P defense, that's perfectly fine as well. But strictly, I look at HP because this is the most important stat to have in the game for defensive stats. So, these things get 562 HP each if you get them to uh, Heroic and Legendary, or uh, yeah, Heroic or Legendary, so perfectly fine. For having them in stats and I'll boost your stats to a big 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 bunch amount. Uh, I think that's good for now. Okay. Um, as for my gear loadout, um, I think at the moment if you don't have like 130 guardian armor, uh, divine armor is perfectly fine. They give about 185 I think. Yeah 185 HP, 155 defense so these are really really good to have. 130 and you just gotta evolve them to max tier. It takes about 6 divines to get one to uh, 130 so you're gonna have to cough up a lot of, a lot of duplicates to make those. Um, aside from that, uh, every month or so you get guardian armor, and just like these, these are decent as well. Not as good as um, uh, divines at 130, but if you can get these like 130 as well, these guardians, these are really, really good. As for my PvP armor, these are like once in a lifetime things, so you can't get them anymore. But uh, these are really, really good as well if you attend to any of these. And for the rest of the part, I just dump in like uh, heavy armor. So these like right this right here. In the case, heavy armor and heavy, heavy armor is really, really good in defensive stats and HP stats. So, if you have any of those, just throw them in there and you, you just watch your HP and physical defense go up from there. As for my accessories, always guardians for me. If I ever had more guardian hats, I'd throw all my guardian hats in here. Uh, but if I don't, I'll just go into all guardian accessories. Try to avoid using gloves as possible. I have one set of gloves here because I, I ran out of uh, H, uh, hats and... Um, shoes so I use one set of gloves but if you want to prioritize do hats first guardian um, shoes and then uh, well, I actually have two gloves here and guardian gloves second um, I really but as of right now guardian trials is really really hard to farm because it's hyper mode and it's like AOE and whatnot for so for some freaking reason I don't know why so as of right now my best advice for you guys is if you have the time uh, go ahead and farm Desperado hats. Um, they aren't as good in defensive stats as Guardian hats, but they are considered uh, helmets in the game. So if you want, helmets give a lot of physical defense and HP. So just farm those for the time being and just use those as HP uh, buffers in the meantime. And once you're, once we get the rework for the Guardian trials, you can farm those instead. And that will give you a lot, a lot of HP. So like these things, they'll give you a decent amount of HP and a little bit of decent speed. Um, a good amount of physical defense as well so uh, that's the best way to load it out um, for the most part just upgrade these to max tiers and your HP and your defense should go up uh, most of your stats do come from your main weapon slots and your main armor accessories so make sure these are on top sh uh, tip top shape after that you can start working on your supports supports are your secondaries especially your weapons 
and after that, it's work on accessories and armor for the, after that for extra benefits. All right, so that briefly explains uh, Tanky Valkyrie, guys. I recommend this if you want to go Valkyrie, just do Tanky Valkyries. I'm tired of watching Valkyries just flop over, assuming like just because they're healer doesn't mean they're squishy. It does not mean so that whatsoever, guys. My physical defense on my Valkyries is like 29,000, which is like five times more than most Valkyries out there for some reason. So uh, aim aim for high amount. I say 15,000 in physical and magic defense is really, really good. HP, you want to aim for at least 20,000. At 20,000, that's a decent amount of HP to work with. And your, li your life will be so much more easier if you're up there for HP. So thank you everyone for watching. That was a quick video on tanky Valkyries. I'm hoping this encourages all Valkyrie users out there to go a little bit tanky route. Don't stack all element. Element is nice to have. But after that, you're good. Uh, after that, after a certain point, you don't need it. You don't need it as much anymore. It's just nice to have. Focus on HP. Focus on physical defense. Once we get to the harder contents, agility will be important as well. But for the time being, it is not that important right now. And you're better off just stacking HP and physical defense. So thank you everyone for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.